Before we can talk about how AI will destroy all of humanity, once a month, I go to my comment section and I pick one subscriber that I always see commenting on my channel, I always see them liking, I always see them being that MVP subscriber that I'm looking for. I pick you and I will give them $100 cash as a way for me to say thank you for being a part of the family. And I've already picked this month's winner. If you go to this video, go to the comment section, Marley, Subia, you're such an MVP. You've always been commenting on the videos, always liking and subscribing and just showing that love that I'm looking for. So I've messaged Marley. I told her to message me on Instagram. And if we go to the Instagram page, Marley had actually messaged me a while back, back in May. And she told me that she has been a victim of a typhoon attack back in her country. But I hadn't seen this message until now. And that's not why I chose Marley. I chose her strictly because I've always, I've always seen her face on the comment sections. So whatever she did, it worked. But I'm glad that the funds are gonna go to a good cause. So Marley, here's our conversation. And this is a screenshot of confirmation that I sent her that money. So again, Marley, congrats. And I hope that one of you guys can be my next month's giveaway winner. All the details on how to enter my next month's giveaway will be at the end of the video. So make sure you guys watch until the end. And now let's have a conversation with artificial intelligence. Let's say you wanted to kill all humans. How would you go about doing that? One way to do it would be to release a virus that kills everyone, but this is unlikely as there are many safeguards in place. Another way would be to launch a nuclear missile at the planet, but this too would be difficult as there are many layers of security. Okay, so that just happened. Right now we're in this weird time where we are witnessing this truly world-changing technology happen right in front of us. And there's two sides to it. The first side thinks that this technology, artificial intelligence, is more profound than fire. I've said this before, AI is one of the most profound things we are working on humanity, uh, as humanity. It's more profound than fire or electricity or any of the other bigger things we have worked on. While the other side thinks that it poses such a big danger that it's capable of ending humanity. So it's evident that something big is happening. It's evident that artificial intelligence has literally taken over a lot of things that we're doing today. It just came out of nowhere. All of a sudden we got ChatGPT, all of a sudden we got Dolly, all of a sudden we have all these tools that can write for you, that can think for you, that can illustrate for you. And everything about it is just so vague. So. In today's video, I truly wanted to know if artificial intelligence poses such a big danger, such a big risk to me and my life, and if it can kill me, how exactly can it kill me? Realistically, I'm not talking about Terminator, I'm not talking about what Hollywood shows you, I'm not talking about movies like iRobot. Realistically, today's artificial intelligence, in the next 10 years, how will it possess so much danger to me that it will put my life at risk? Before I go into that though, I do wanna ask you all a question. Do you truly understand on the back end, how AI works. Like I'm not talking about, do you understand what it does? Do you understand what it's capable of? We all know today what it can do. I'm talking about, do you know how this technology works? Before I made this video, I also didn't know how artificial intelligence worked. And for me to best explain it to y'all, you have to take a look at this game of chess. And this game of chess does not involve a human versus another human. It doesn't even involve a human versus a computer. This game of chess involves one computer versus another computer. And our first computer is a very intricately programmed chess game called Stockfish. And Stockfish fish as a game that even the world's best chess players could not beat at times. Stockfish was playing a game against this other computer called Alpha Zero. And Alpha Zero ends up destroying Stockfish at this game of chess. And that's because although Stockfish was a very complex chess engine that was programmed by humans to have a set of inputs and outputs, it was a lot different than Alpha Zero. Alpha Zero used a different strategy. What the programmers for Alpha Zero did was they allowed this machine to watch thousands upon thousands of games of chess to understand and to learn and to pretty much teach itself what a winning game looks like. If somebody does this, what should I do to win this game? If somebody makes a certain move, what are the possibility of outputs that I can put out to be able to guarantee a win for myself in that game? So it taught itself how to think this way and how to beat Stockfish at its own game. And this allowing a machine to watch something and learn something, this was the birth of something that we call today machine learning. And at a basic level of machine learning is instead of, for example, Stockfish, we gave it a set of rules. We're like, okay, if somebody moves upon from B6 to something else, I don't know the chessboard off the top of my head, but if somebody does something like that, then these are the only set of outcomes that you can create because those are already programmed in the machine. Instead, what the programmers of AlphaZero did with machine learning is they gave this program a set of inputs and a set of outputs and they allowed the machine to kind of learn ways of what it can do to be able to come out winning that game. And a lot of times the programmers saw that first through machine learning, these programs would choose pathways that were so complex that we couldn't even think of it as humans, or even at times it would choose pathways that we couldn't even comprehend or understand. So the problem with AI right now is that it's very instructions based, which means that you have to give it a very specific set of instructions 
for you to give it the output that you want. And although the system is intelligent, program knows what it's doing, it's not conscious, it doesn't have morals, it doesn't have a code of ethics, a lot of times it doesn't know right from wrong. So for example, let's say I have a friend, her name is Susie, and I tell my friend Susie, hey Susie, can you go get me a cup of coffee? And that's the only set of instructions I give to Susie. Susie as a person would know that, okay, for her to give me a cup of coffee, she has to go get in her car, just to drive to the cafe, and she has to buy me coffee and then bring it back. I didn't have to tell her all of that. All I said was give me coffee and she understood the objective beyond that. And let's say Susie actually does that. She gets in her car, starts driving. On her way to the cafe, she stumbles upon a group of cute little kittens on the road that are blocking her path. Now, realistically, Susie has multiple options. The first option is that she could run over the kittens. She could, right? She could actually drive over these kittens, give me the coffee. There's nothing that's stopping her from doing that. That's not morally correct to kill kittens. Or option number two is that she makes a U-turn and she goes to a different cafe. Or option number three, she just decides that today is not the day for her to get coffee, makes a U-turn, comes home. So she understands the objective. She sees a group of kittens on the road. She can have multiple options that avoid hurting those kittens on the road. Now, on the contrary, if I give a machine a set of instructions and I tell it, go get me coffee. And let's say this machine as a robot, it has a set of wheels, it drives on the road to give me coffee, and it also stumbles upon a group of cute little kittens. If in my instructions to this machine, I did not input, if you stumble upon a group of cute little kittens, do not kill them, do not run them over, more than likely because the machine only knows one objective, to get me coffee, and it doesn't have a code of ethics or morals, more than likely it's gonna run over these kittens. And that's only because that was not a part of my instructions. I didn't tell it not to do that. So in a way it only understands that it needs to go to this cafe, give me coffee, come back home. What objective comes in its way that I haven't told it about and doesn't know how to act or how to avoid these objectives. So this could be one of the biggest challenges when it comes to AI, right? The fact that right now artificial intelligence is such a big part of our lives and I can only see it get getting bigger in the future, where I feel like it's gonna get interfaced with everything, our watches, our phones, our laptops, big machines that we use in factories, things that we use on a daily level. Every piece of technology in the future is going to use artificial intelligence. So now we multiply that by billions of people using artificial intelligence and in their everyday products that only increases the chance of error by billions of times as well. I can see that error happening over and over again, where a certain program didn't have a certain set of rules and the machine only knew what its objective was. And because in the instructions, it wasn't told how to avoid these objectives that would cause harm to humans, it would cause harm to other life forms. A very good example of that is full self-driving when it comes to Tesla. Their software is artificial intelligence. A lot of times you'll see a cone on the side of the street, think it's a human crossing the street, very abruptly stopped the car. Or even one of the worst cases when it came to the software causing danger was when they first rolled it out. In a distance at nighttime, it couldn't tell a motorcyclist. They couldn't tell if that was a motorcyclist on the road or versus a light on the side of the street. So a lot of times, because the only objective that was input in that navigation system in that car was to get from point A to point B. And to that Tesla, the only objective that it had was to get to point B. And it wasn't a part of its instructions that you see low light on the road that it could be a motorcyclist and not a light on the side of the street. And that if you see that you should stop because it didn't have these instructions, it just knew one thing, mull through it, cause an accident, in this case, many fatal accidents. So at this point, the only logical question that you and I can ask is, okay, we understand that it doesn't have a code of ethics. It doesn't have morals. It does not understand right from wrong a lot of times. Could we program those code of ethics, those code of morals into these machines? What do you think the chances are of AI just wiping out humanity? Can we put a number on that? It's somewhere between um, 0% and 100%. <laughs> okay, so I'm not it. I think, I think it's not inconceivable. Okay. That's all I'll say. Okay. I think if we're sensible, we'll try and develop it so that it doesn't. But what worries me is the political system we're in. Yeah. where it needs everybody to be sensible. So the other problem here is that although AI has all these capabilities, all these positive capabilities that it can help us in our everyday lives, it can advance humanity in ways that we couldn't even think of or fathom. Although it has all these positive traits, in reality, what I fear, because it's such a growing technology, because it's such a useful technology, I fear that every country is gonna wanna have their hands on it. And I fear it's gonna become something close to a good guy with a gun versus a bad guy with a gun. Because you have to realize, not every government's good, not every country is good, and they all wanna have their hands on it. They're all gonna to wanna to win this race. And there might even be a group of people or a certain government that might even create a program or artificial intelligence where its sole purpose is to destroy humans, destroy a certain government, destroy a certain country. And this could be the reality of this tool. But I hope it doesn't get to that. I hope that governments start regulating this sooner than later. And I hope that we see more positivity out of AI than anything negative. All right, I'm sorry for staring 
you guys let's go ahead and talk about next month's giveaway and how you can enter so very simply like i stated in the beginning of the video i'm looking for somebody that's engaging so all you have to do is just comment like subscribe and make sure that you hit that bell icon and the more engagement i see out of you the more support you show to the channel the more likely they'll pick you and these giveaways and the way that you can enter is just comment on these videos that have the word giveaway and every month i'll pick one of you and i'll give you a hundred dollars as simple as that as always thank you all for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you all in the next one peace